You know, these days, every earphone maker gives you a thousand and one ear tips to mix and match with your earphones. And it can be quite difficult to select the right earphone to suit you. We are here today to dispel any of the myths and any misconceptions with regards to ear tips. My name is Kenneth and welcome to PBTV. This is part one of our ear tip guide. Let's go. So in ear tips, there are three main components that affect sound the most. The first would be the opening, which is the front part where sound comes out from. Next would be the dome whereby the, well, this part actually seals the outside world from the music that happens, you know, within your ear. And lastly would be the stem, where the nozzle of the earphone connects to the uh, ear tip. Now with the opening of the ear tip, well, different ear tips have different opening sizes and, the, and this really affects the sound of your earphone. Um, but before I go into that, there's some things about physics that I need to state first. You know, with high frequencies, such as your treble portion of the music, they get absorbed by materials way quicker than the mids and the lows. So what happens is that uh, with the opening, if you have a smaller opening, well, high frequencies just get absorbed a lot quicker. But if your opening is, um, well, way larger, you actually get more high frequencies. And with that, we can move on to the next segment, which is the dome. So now we are moving into domes. You know, domes are the very important part of the ear tip because this part actually just you know cancels out uh, outside noise reaching your ear. And with that, there are two main materials: silicone and foam. We'll start off with silicone first. You know, for silicone, there are actually two parts. Um, whether are they made of a thinner material or whether they are made with a thicker material. With a thinner material, you'll find that it is very comfortable. But the thing is that um, because it's thinner, there is a higher damping factor which means that um, sound gets absorbed a bit more than the thicker silicone material. So with a thinner material you get reduced highs as compared to a thicker silicone material which might be a bit more uncomfortable but it preserves the musical fidelity a bit better. With foam, things are very different. Foam as you know is just very soft and pliable and you know it's a very nice comfortable listen um, the thing about it is that uh, it absorbs a lot of high frequencies and well, things would tend to feel a bit smooth you hear things that are well generally a lot smoother than in uh, silicone but with that there is also a bit of a reduction in detail so these are the factors you need to consider selecting which type of ear tips now talking about stem these things work in tandem with the nozzle of the earphones and just a bit of a tidbit. You know, 10 years ago where brands such as Atimotic, Westone and Sure first came out with IEMs, they actually have very, very narrow stems. So what happens is that, as you know with uh, the opening of the ear tips, the same, same theory applies and as time passed by, people want more high frequency, thereby having larger nozzles and the stems of the ear tips actually also follow suit. Um, how does the stems affect sound? You know, with a thicker material on the stem, what happens is that it actually perpetuates the sound forward a lot better. So you actually get a lot more bass response, a lot more mid response. But if you actually um, reduce or make the stem material thinner, you actually lose a lot of bass energy. And that is how stem affect the sound quality of the, of the entire package. There are three types of ear tips in the market today that is very common. The first would be silicone as we mentioned, secondly would be foam, and lastly would be hybrid ear tips whereby they are a combination of silicone and foam. Now I cannot cover all of them today in this video, but I can cover the first part of this video which is the silicone ear tip. Now silicone ear tips are very inert. It makes it a very very uh, safe material to use. And you can actually, you know, very simply wash them if it gets dirty. And with that, we're going to cover three popular ear tips in the market out today. Uh, the first would be the final type B ear tips. So we start off with the final type B. The final type B ear tips have actually gained a lot of acclamation in recent years. And they have been the stock ear tips for brands such as Campfire Audio, Empires and Dita Audio. So what makes them so special is that, you know, they actually have an opening that is regular in size. It's not too big. But the dome that they choose to use is actually of uh, well, of average or medium hardness. And lastly, they have a rigid stem. So with all these components acting together, they actually have quite a good bass response and quite a good mid response. The only thing is that the high response are slightly, slightly subdued. Just, just a hair 
uh, uh, subdued. And you know, they actually are very good balance ear tips to suit most earphones. We actually have a graph over here to show as a graphical representation of how they sound. And you know, one of the things with the final type E ear tips is that they actually also come with a small ball adapter, which you know, you can adapt it for older uh, earphones such as the Atimotics or the older uh, Westones. And with that, we are moving on to the second ear tips. And this is the Setna. Uh... And now, right after lunch, we have the Asla Setna Ear Fit Light. Its name is really quite long. I'm just gonna call it Setna. One thing to note is that you know, the opening of it is actually really, really big compared to the ones you have in comparison, the Final Type E and the SpinFit CP100. And on top of that, the version we have shown here is the light version of it. Its dome is supposedly softer than the original version, but it's still stiffer than the uh, Final Type E and CP100. Last but not least, it's also the stem. The stem is also relatively stiff. Well, you basically are getting more high energy and with the stem being so stiff, you actually have a lot of base energy as well. You can say that, um, well, it is it has a very wide hole and it's very stiff as well. I'm not sure how does that sound on camera, but it is what it is. And because of the dome being also stiff, you actually get very good isolation as well. So if you look over here, it should appear like now, you can see a graphical representation of the sound of the uh, Setna ear tips. Um, if you're looking for a ear tip that emphasizes bass and highs, these are the ones to look out for. Lastly would be the SpinFit CP100 and you know because the name is such another mouthful, I'm just going to call it SpinFit for short. Now the last year tip that we're going to talk about today, it is very interesting because it has a gimmick that is on the year tip and this is the SpinFit CP100. It doesn't actually spin as, it name, as its name up implies, but rather it actually will tilt. Um, how it happens is that there is a transition from its uh, stem whereby it starts off rather rigid and eventually ends up into a very soft, a very soft material near the opening of the ear tip. Moving on to the rest of the stuff for the SpinFit CP100, uh, we'll, we'll start with the opening. The opening of the CP100 is actually larger than that of the Final Type E, but smaller than the Setna. It actually allows you to listen to more highs compared to the uh, Final Type E, but less than the Setna as well. The dome is made of a very soft material, which is very comfortable, but this also dampens the high frequency slightly. And last but not least would be the stem. So as I mentioned previously, the stem actually transitions from a hard material to a softer material towards the opening, which allows it to tilt. But um, because of this, it actually loses quite a bit of base presence and authority. And actually, um, if you look at the graphical representation over here, you can see how it actually affects sound in in a certain manner. With that, we are going to a conclusion with the type of uh, silicone ear tips and how to better use them to suit your suit your taste better. And so in conclusion, you know, ear tips because it is the connecting part between your ear and the earphone, it actually plays a pivotal role in terms of uh, sound production. And with it, you can actually tune the sound somewhat to suit your taste. But um, by and large, the earphone still dictates the overall tone. So it is still important to get the right fit to make sure you are comfortable and to have enough isolation to hear the music. And of course, if you can tweak it just a bit to suit your taste a little bit better, why not? And with that, my name is Kenneth from PBTV. Thank you so much and we hope to see you very soon. Remember to like and subscribe. I think, you know, the subscribe button is here, right? If I'm pointing awkwardly on the wrong side, the image will flip. But please like and subscribe, press the bell icon and you'll see us very soon. Maybe not me so often because I'm ugly, but um, that's okay. <laughs> what?